Hey, Matt Morris at mattmorris.com, and today I wanted to discuss something that really had a pretty profound impact on me many years ago when I kind of came to this um, realization. And, you know, it's really how you deal with, I guess you might call it undesired emotions. I don't really know how else to say it, but it's how to deal with yourself when you feel <laughs> and uh, you know there's been so many times in my life where I had you know something going on that might be envy it might be uh, jealousy it might be anger it might be depression hits me something like that and what ended up happening is um, when I was about 18 years old I got introduced to personal development I read books like Think and Grow Rich and you know all these books on self-help and I'd listened to so many speakers and trainers and they talked about the positive mental attitude and how you know almost making it wrong to have those feelings to have those negative emotions and so I made myself wrong for having those emotions. And you know, you read all this thing about how, you know, your mind, you have this garden of your mind and you gotta pluck out these negative emotions, right? And I'm like, man, well the the weeds, they just keep coming up and something's wrong with me. So I'd feel depressed or I'd feel angry, and then I'd feel angry at myself for feeling depressed, and it was kind of like this vicious cycle where I beat myself so much, uh, beat myself up so much that you know, I'd feel even worse and, you know, became very tough to get out of the situation. And here's what I finally came to. I mean, after, um, you know, tons of reading, talking to other people and just, you know, life in general, I finally realized, you know what? Every single one of us, I don't care who you are, no one is perfectly happy on top of the world all the time. You know, there's no such thing as someone who lives in absolute pure joy, happiness, peace, tranquility, and all that all the time. Anyone who tells you they are, they're a fraud. There's something going on. You know, in, in fact, it's required. It's required for you to have some bad days. I mean, if you don't have a bad day, how do you know what a good day is, right? And so here's what happened to me when I realized that I'm not a freak, I'm not a weirdo, um, I'm mortal like everyone else, then I realized when those emotions came in, when a bad day came in, when I got depressed about something and it came in, I realized, you know what, that makes me normal. And if you're feeling a sense of negativity or you got some depression or you got something coming in, don't beat yourself up about it. Realize that that's normal. You're just like everyone else and you're perfect. It's perfect in that moment for you to be experiencing what you're experiencing. There's a reason for that emotion to come in and because of that, it's gonna allow you to feel better. And so what I want you to get from this is just realize that people are people. I don't care how much you put someone on a pedestal, they're gonna have a bad day just like you. They're gonna have some negative emotions creep in just like you. And so realize that whatever you're feeling makes you perfect. You know, you have to have that duality, the duality of man. You know, you're never gonna experience the extreme highs if you don't experience some extreme lows. It's part of, uh, part of you know, human nature. It's by design and so, um, hopefully this gave you some value. Um, if you feel like it can help some others, then definitely share the video around. I would love to hear your comments below because you know, here, here's what I want you to get is when you have those come in and you realize you're normal, this is what it did for me, is it allowed me to release those emotions. It allowed me to go from having a really bad day to a really good day. It allowed me to go from being depressed to being undepressed when I stopped beating myself up for being normal, for being perfect. So, um, if you feel like you got some value, again, please share that around. And I'd love to hear below, what, what, are, uh, what are some things that you, know, you can release? What are some feelings that you've had in the past that by you know, realizing you're not so unnormal, you're not a freak of nature, um, what can you release from that? I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts about that below. So if you're not subscribed over to mattmorris.com, hop over there, put your name and email address in. I send out videos like this uh, at least two, three times a week, and uh, you'll receive those when you're a member of the newsletter. Thanks so much for tuning in. Go make life an adventure.